Okay, you want me to? Okay, it has just started now. Yeah. Can everybody see my slides so that I go to slideshow? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I don't need to go on slideshow, right? It is okay. Shall I start or shall I wait? Yes, ma'am, we'll start now. Okay. Okay, good afternoon to you all. Thank you for giving this lovely opportunity to speak. Thank you for the, uh, this uh, great opportunity to meet my fellow members as well. We will definitely have a question and answer session as well. And uh, today I would like to start off. I don't know, it's still disappeared. My slides have just gone. Uh, it's again showing host disabled participant screen sharing. Oh, just a second. Yeah. So I have given you the screen controls. Okay, you have given me the controls. Okay, it's still the same. Uh, it has that you have not given me the controls. Cancel the spotlight video. Shall I cancel the spotlight video or? Uh, see, when I uh, say share screen. It immediately pops up host disabled participant screen sharing. So I can hear other things going on, but I'm not able to uh, share my screen. I don't know why. This is okay, right? Mute and I'm not able to share my screen. It is saying host disabled participant screen sharing. Uh, the team has to enable that, Prerak. Ma'am. Because it's still saying host disabled partic participant screen sharing. Atta check kara ma'am. Yeah, zala atta malar. Yeah. All right, great. So I can start now. Yeah. Now I am uh, audible as well as visible, right? Okay. Yeah. So scope for rehabilitation with limited resources. Once again, uh, I would like to invite all my uh, members to this uh, wonderful session today that Predak has given me this opportunity. And um, I would like to start off with the punchline that the World uh, Physiotherapy Day had uh, put in uh, the circular uh, last two years back. Add life to years, movement for health, physical, mental health, improvement in mobility adds to the quality of life. So I will be going through a few overview points right now so that one understands what I'm going to, uh, can I start with a slideshow? I can The overview about today's uh, rehab measure in three parts. What is rehabilitation and why is it so important? What are strategies that you can use and these advances that one can use in their day to day practices as well? With the conclusion to plan out your strategies as well. So, a few frequently asked questions are what is the difference in rehabilitation and what is exactly physiotherapy then? Physiotherapy is a part of rehabilitation. It is one part of the therapy program. 
but there are various therapies that are implemented in the rehab uh, uh, per se. I will go over the definition as well. And how to manage rehabilitation with limited resources is the second question that is frequently asked to me. What are the various devices? Yes, we do have uh, good gadgets now in the department, but if not, how do you provide uh, the basics to our patients with limited resources is what the key to today's program is. What is the rationale behind the neuro rehab that I'm going to present today? We'll go over the definition of uh, the rationale behind neuro rehab and various strategies that we can implement. Now, understanding the definition of rehabilitation is definitely a process which is aimed at enabling and to reach to the optimal level of the physical, sensory, the intellectual, the psychological, and social functioning levels. All this comprises of rehab. It is definitely a multidisciplinary teamwork that is required. Uh, in rehabilitation, we provide tools that are required to uh, regain your independence, to restore your independence is a better word when it comes to rehabilitation. Now, by the International Classification of Functioning, or the ICA framework, it is emphasizing the health and the functioning. The biosocial aspect of it is very, very important. It is based on the theory of the biopsychosocial model. And the concept is broadly divided into three parts. The body functions and the structure, which takes care of the anatomy, the physiology, the pathology, And in activities, you can measure the activities variously uh, in our department. For example, and the participation is uh, the quality of life measures that we can use during our. Um, definitely, this holds a lot of importance understanding the ICF framework because it revolves around not only the body functions, but the activities and participation is very, very important. And it also helps us from our goals, the short-term goals and the long-term goal planning as well. As you all understand, rehabilitation uh, includes various team members, I would like to make a full program for bowel and bladder care in our uh, rehab unit, which takes care uh, about the catheterization and the nurses play a very important role in all this. And even the psychologists, they do a lot of cognitive uh, psychology theory, theories with our patients or the therapies with our patients. And not to forget the speech therapists, which are very important again, because when it comes to matters of uh, critical area zones, thus scale is extensively used in our departments to understand the meaning of the patients or the intubated patients when they are being uh, moving. Your TT is as important as the speech therapist assist the patients uh, post removal of the TT also is again very important along with that swallowing is again of utmost importance uh, with the speech therapist it is definitely uh, a team disciplinary action that is required now to divide uh, today's program into various domains of rehab as we all understand orthopedic hematology cardiology and yes i would just like to interrupt you once sure the voice is breaking and many people are saying the audio is not clear. All right, give me yeah. one second. Yeah, Let yeah. Me. Okay, I'll ask for help. Give me one second. The rest of the other contestants, please mute your volume. Please switch off your video. There's a lot of disturbance, please. Now, is it better? Is yeah. Is it better now? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, give me one second, one second. Okay, is this okay? Yeah, this is good, ma'am. Okay, thank you, thank you. So the important domain here is when you divide it into orthopedic, hematology, cardiopulmonary, and neuro rehab, the pain management holds of 
utmost importance. Let it be any case. We all have to have a very holistic approach towards our problems. And uh, when we talk about pain management, I have a few slides that I will share uh, next in the consecutive uh, presentation. Now, what's measured really improves. At this point, I would highlight the data entry is really required because to map our patients, pre-assess them and then implement the various strategies followed by short-term and long-term goal planning is really very important. Am I audible now? Is it okay? Yes. Yeah. Am I too fast or it's okay? This is fine, ma'am. Great. Thank you. So again, starting from what's measured improves is uh, the highlight of the day today. So I really request each one of you to use certain measuring scales to really implement our programs. These are few of the devices that we are using extensively in our department. We have developed the upper limb and the lower limb uh, continuous passive mobilization uh, devices and they are really helping us. One of the principles in neuro rehab is uh, repetition really matters. So if you keep repeating what we really want to achieve, even 100 repetitions, six hours in a day is required for neuro rehab. And other than that, we do have computer-aided devices like the hand unit, uh, the Timo and the Pablo. That also helps us in uh, cognitive training and the physical therapy as well. Then you see a picture of a tilt table. I'm sure you're uh, used to using a tilt table. But uh, just a note on rehab that uh, whenever you're treating patients with uh, disorders of consciousness, this is a good stimulus. If you can prop up the patient or uh, physiological standing on a tilt table, really uh, gives a good stimulus for arousal and attention. And this, we have devised it such that this uh, tilt table can be horizontally and vertically mobile. So this is very important. If you do not have these devices, long sitting, excuse me, long sitting is also a good measure to start off with the patient's uh, stimulus for arousal and attention. Now, going back uh, to the pain gate theory, I'm sure everybody is uh, uh, knowing the uh, pain gate theory. I would highlight uh, the trans-electrical nerve stimulator here. We have been extensively using it uh, for pain management, especially in onco-neuro rehab patients. And this has really helped us uh, basically to relieve them of pain. This can be extensively used at home as well. And the counseling holds real importance, uh, not only the emotional part, it is an unpleasant sensation that the patient is carrying. It is one of the expressions of emotion. So counseling really helps our patients. The biomechanics of the body has to be dealt with in uh, cases of orthopedics, ergonomics is again very important. And we do use a lot of relaxation techniques, which includes yoga, tai chi as well for mind-body coordination. So uh, with this, I would say that the pain management uh, is the fundamental. Let it be uh, neuro, ortho, or whatever we have, you are really seeing our patients with. Now moving on to the next uh, rehab is the cardiopulmonary rehab. The objective here is to evaluate the functional exercise capacity. There are various flow charts, the volume charts that need to be dealt with when we are treating our patients. Six minute walk test or the shuttle walk test are very, very important, but they, yes, they do require doctor's intervention, certain medication as well, or emergency medicines as well. A simple test could be a subjective finding about the staircase activity. How much does he uh, climb up the stairs? Is it one flight of stairs or two flights? It's a very important question that one can ask bedside questions could be allow him to speak for one minute and just pace his breathing, air entry, secretions, is he getting dyspneic? All this can be also understood when we are evaluating bedside. Now the benefits, as we all understand, are reducing the dyspnea and reducing the uh, symptoms and making the patient very comfortable first and then improving his uh, various parameters of the secretions or the cough reflex or what have you. Energy conservation again is very very important because a lot of muscles are very tight in the structure and the musculoskeletal uh, energy conservation te 